Herbs in Action. Reflections and stories from the Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens Botany in Action Fellows, discussing herbs from around the world. My name is Chelsea Romulo, and I'm a doctoral student at George Mason University. I study a palm fruit called a guaje that grows throughout the Amazon region, and the place that I study is in Peru. The herb I'd like to talk about is elderberry. So this plant is kind of a small woody shrub and it usually grows in understories in the forest, although it can grow in sunny areas as well. And some people will actually make an elderflower wine out of the flowers. And then you can also make wine from the berries. And you can also use the plant for medicine by making a tea or using the berries and people use it for if you have a fever and also if you have respiratory problems. Native Americans also have a long history of using this plant for medicine, dyes, and also just for eating. It is a very hardy plant. It will be one of the first plants that grows in areas cleared for mining that have had really damaged soils. And it's often used for reclamation. And you can see it really commonly along roadsides. Herbs in Action is a collaboration between Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens and the Saturday Light Brigade and is made possible by the Mary Jane Berger Memorial Foundation, dedicated to educating the community about the many benefits and uses of herbs.